May I use the phone? Yeah. So you're Bernard. I'm Niall. It's nice to meet you. Before we begin, we need to take care of payments. I know, not very sexy. It's in the drawer. How long do you want me to stay? Just until I'm asleep. Have you done this before? It's okay. Do you know what you want? What's the nastiest thing you've ever done? If I told you that, I'd have to shoot you. Have you ever been touched by another man before? We can do whatever you want. Would you like a massage? If I have oil. We could do it on the bed. Would you like to watch me masturbate? We could take a shower together. You could tie me up. No. No sex. Okay. I see. Do you want to cuddle? No touching. Okay. May I have a drink? I'll have one of those little bottles of white wine. I always think alcohol tastes better out of small bottles, don't you? I don't drink. It makes me feel sick. What do you do for work? I'm retired. What did you do for work? Guess. Priest. <laughs> Politician. You're not a fucking guard, are you? You have a very low opinion of the world. I was an English teacher. Thank you. Where'd you teach? A small. School in Mead. Did you like it? I did. I liked English. Probably my best subject in secondary. I got a B1. Why are you telling me this? I don't know, I'm just making conversation. Gatsby believed in the green light. That orgastic future that year by year recedes before us. What's orgastic even mean anyway? Do you see many clients in a day? Depends on the day. Do you see many today? Two. Do you have sex with all of them? No. One was a first timer, so we just did handsy stuff. He came and went, if you catch my drift. The other was a long term client. He brought me to a wedding. Are you happy in your line of work? What did you do before? Worked on a site. Really? Yeah. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop phrasing me bollocks off working construction with a bunch of lazy fuckers for shite money? Do you ever get women clients? Mostly men. And what, what sort of men typically avail of your services? You can be honest. Scared men. Do 
always seem like a scared man to you. No. You just seem a bit fed up. Is it a career? No. I mean, it can be, but no. I'm in college, so it's handy money. But uh, I'm looking for something else, something more secure, you know? What do you study? Art history. Is your name really Niall? No. What did you think when you first saw me? Nothing. You didn't feel bad for me? <laughs> no, why? It's a bit sad. Man of my age. Is this how you want to spend your time, is it? What? Chat. Would you rather be sucking my cock? I suppose it is a bit sad. Man your age. Do you have a family? No. Did you have a family? Next question. Are you a virgin? No. You didn't answer my question from earlier, by the way. What question? The nastiest thing you've ever done. I'd say you've got some good stories. Depends on what you mean by good. I'm an escort. Can't shock me. Then you go first. Nasty thing I've ever done. It's nothing to do with work. I remember going to a museum in Italy once on a school trip. The one with the Statue of David. It's beautiful. You'd queue for hours to get in. By the time we got in, everyone was saying it's not even worth it, you know? I thought it was beautiful. I was moved. Anyway, as you're walking through this museum, there's these sort of side rooms in them with loads of paintings in them. Beautiful old paintings from the Renaissance, you know? And I remember there was this one painting I couldn't stop looking at. It's right in the corner. No one really paid attention to it. It's one of the small ones. I don't know who it was by. You know when people talk about standing on the Eiffel Tower and wanting to jump off the edge? I never felt that. But when I was looking at this painting, I got this urge and I couldn't repress it. So I just reached out, took my fingernail and I scratched it. Just took a chunk of the paint right off, right in the middle. And no, me saw me like I, I didn't get caught. But I did ruin it. I ruined the painting from the Renaissance forever. Little old me. Isn't that fucked up? Do you regret doing it? No. Why not? Because who gives a fuck? Could have knocked David's little dick off and it wouldn't mean a fucking thing. See what I'm saying? No. Like, when you think of it, when you really fucking think of it, what good is art? I mean, you're an English teacher. Who's your favourite writer? Shakespeare. I thought English teachers hated cliches. Right. Shakespeare. Probably the greatest writer who ever lived. Yeah. But if the entire work of Shakespeare can't prevent a genocide, for instance, then what the fuck's it all worth? What does that painting matter? Or Gatsby, or any of it? If it all burns tomorrow, would the world be any worse off? You're very cynical for a man of your age. <laughs> and you're not. You're a fucking old man sitting in a hotel room with an escort. Too afraid to ask me to spank your arse. Or whatever the fuck. That's not why I asked you here. Why did you ask me here? I asked you here because... 45 minutes ago I took 16 paracetamol and very shortly I'll be dead. Now in that drawer... It's all the money I have in the world. It's yours. And in return, I want you to sit there while I die. And if I happen to wake up, I want to, to take a pillow and hold it over my face until I stop moving. Do you understand?
understand what I'm asking you? Fucking tell us what the fuck you're on about. And I thought you were gonna fucking murder me the way you were going on, not the other way around. You're a fucking butler, you are. I'm killing a retired English teacher. It's a something. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice bit of money, not gonna lie, but it's not worth the fucking hassle, is it? He's gonna pop a bottle of wine into me before he starts asking shit like that, you fucking freak. What do you think I'm doing? Hi, um. I'm here uh, with my granddad in room uh, 338 and uh, he's having problems with his medication. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I think we should send one over. Yeah. Have your money. It's all here. Except what I needed to pay for the wine. And the uh, carpet repairs for when you got sick everywhere. The doctors say you're gonna be ground. I disagree on the basis that you're a fucking nutcase. There you go. I'm gonna look after you, Bernard. I'll stay check out for a while. I'll pay myself a weekly wage and I you can fucking afford it. And I'll help you get better. But if I can't do that, I'll help you get by. Four paracetamol in that bottle, and you only took 16. I don't think you really wanted to die. Hopeful. What's that? Orgastic. 
that's we means hopeful. <laughs> yeah, well, we wouldn't know much about that, would we? You fucking lunatic. love left between you and me ain't no harmony like they used to be and those memories those memories are getting harder and harder for me to see This whole thing is finally done. Was it all? 